Okay, so after that little intermission, they fix the lane again. I guess I don't know my own strength, right? All right, so I'm going back to the Red Widow. I'm going to stand eight, load it up seven. Try not to miss right. See what we get. That's way right. Uh, okay, it overreacted. At least it didn't leave a 10 this time. So that was just a bad shot on my part. It's okay. Set it. I'll try one more with the Red Widow. And then we'll do some more exploration. That's a little better shot. Oh, God. Yikes. Yeah. It just red so early. Red very early. Very early. Okay. So let's get back to the informer and see what we can do with it. Okay, now I'm curious, instead of throwing it all the way over there, what if I try to go up the 10 board? So let's try that. So what if I just, okay, I'm gonna stand on 10 and go straight up 10, right up the oil. I, I just don't know if it'll hold or not. Oh, 10 pin, 10 pin! It kind of floated out to eight, but it definitely hit the bucket pretty good. Uh, all right, let's try to make the, the spare, maybe. Will it get it? It does. All right. Let's try that with the informer again. But let's try to keep it on seven. Not get it, not, I mean seven, 10. And not get it out. So once again, I'm trying, I'm standing on 10, throwing 10. I'm just trying to go right up, right up that second arrow. Trying not to get it too far right. That's better. What's that gonna do? Okay, so I left the other corner. It went high. But I mean, you can see that that's like sort of another option for this ball. When it gets so dry that I'm going all the way around the lane, I could move in and go kind of straighter too, like a lot of people I see do in league. Um, is that ideal? Is that what you really want? Is that the best thing for this ball? I don't know. Let's uh, move back to 13. Actually, I was on 14, targeting 8, 9, 8. Like that. What's that going to do? So that's, that's resin and Dynamicore combining together to produce a trash hit, a cheater hit. I mean, I hit the pocket, and it knocked him down. That's what you want, right? That's, isn't that the whole point of bowling? But somehow it just seems like, I don't know, seems unfair somehow. Let's try that again. I mean, it's kind of fun doing it, right? So I'm standing 14. Actually, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go to 13 and a half based on that hit. There you go. Hello, 10. That's resin. That's resin, my friends. That's what resin does. Okay, now I'm going to get 
my black U dot, which has the same layout as, you just, as the informer, and I'm going to move my foot from 14 to 7. I literally went seven boards right, and I'm going to go right up the seven board. Uh-oh. Oh, it's still a strike. Now, see, there's a urethane trash strike. Okay, well, maybe urethane can have shitty hits, too, and carry. Okay, that was a way missed left. Let's do the same shot with the same ball and try to do it the right way. Again, I'm trying to get it to the seven board. So standing seven, going straight up seven with the black U dot, same layout as in form. That's better. That's where I wanted it. Wow, and it went high. Woo. Yikes. That's a very angular ball because um, it's got that layout on it. And I'm playing in a very dry area of the lane. Very straight. Uh, let's see. Five, two, four, six. Let me get this out of the way. And let's go back. All right, now I want to try the purple hammer again. Because it seemed like the purple hammer was like the smoothest of the urethane balls that was able to carry. So once again, I'm going to stand on eight and a half and try to float it up seven. We'll see if there's still enough oil to get it up the line. Oh Lord, last minute jump. So it is drying up from the informer and that requires me to move a little bit, even with the urethane balls. So let's go. Let's try that purple hammer again. And I'm going to move my foot a little bit. So I was standing on eight and a half. I think I can go that half board to eight. And again, we're just going to float it up seven. Like that. What's that going to do? Oh, it still went by. Huh. Okay. Well, that's fine. I will move a little more. And I'll just get use the informer for the spare. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, last challenge. Purple hammer versus informer. Urethane versus resin. So I'm going to stand on nine and try to get the ball right up seven. This is the purple hammer. That's kind of where I wanted it. Okay, so there's that ball. What did you think of that? Did you like that? Did that seem good? It seemed like I had a lot of control of the ball. I was able to make very subtle adjustments and the ball just kind of floats over there in a very controlled fashion. So I like that. Now, I'm going to the informer. Now we already saw the informer. I'm standing on 14, which I am now, and I'm gonna target eight, kind of that eight and a half area. And then maybe it will do its job. Oh, oh, 
Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Why did it do that? It just went a little high. All right, so let's make the spare. So informer, nine spare. Back to the purple hammer. All right, let's see what the purple hammer does. So now, standing on nine, targeting seven. With a nice smooth shot. Yikes, that went a little high. I did miss a little inside. So that left a first result in the informer by one pin. Okay. Uh oh. Boy, I held on. I thought it was going to jump. Okay, now we get to do informer again. We will get to do informer again. Now obviously the informer, because of what it is, is running all around the lane to try to get back to the pocket. So it's a little more complex type of shot, in my opinion, for someone like me to try to maintain. So I'm standing on 14, trying to get it around that eight and a half board. That's kind of where I wanted it. And what will it do? Come on. There you go. Wow. That's pretty wild that I'm doing that, huh? I always play like straight from the outside with your thing. And now I'm wheeling it. Well, from my little lowly level, that's pretty wheelie. That's pretty wheelie. Okay, so now we go back to the purple hammer. Now I'm going to jump right, so I'm standing on 9 now instead of 14. And I'm targeting 7. That's kind of where I wanted it. You better go down. You better go down. That was a good shot. Okay, so I got a strike with that one too. Uh, which ball is better in your opinion? Which is better? Well, let's finish with the informer because that's why we're here, right? Resin. If the machine doesn't break, of course, we'll see how we do here. There she is. Okay. Now jump all the way back left. So we're standing on 14. Targeting eight and a half. Here we go. I'm getting it way out to the right where I have doesn't seem to really matter. There. Will that come back? Get right at its hand. Well, there she is, fans. So that was my exploration of resin. I think we learned a lot today. Um, we learned that a ball like the ProMotion, which is a super strong resin ball with a very strong layout, is just too strong for a house shot. And you can see it just goes really straight. It can't even really hook much. It needs a ton of oil. And even at 3,000 grit and looking pretty shiny, it, it just basically, it really wasn't usable. It really wasn't usable, as you saw. Then the informer, with the two and a quarter inch pin pass pack layout, this ball is insane. You saw me throwing this ball all over the place and getting it to come back and strike. It was, uh, I don't know, these resin balls are, are pretty magical. They can do a lot of really weird things and get away with a lot of stuff. 
Uh, it's, it was quite surprising, and for me to be this far left is kind of crazy. And then you saw your thing, the uh, purple hammer with the axis weight layout. This is an old ebonite purple hammer, the original ebonite cover stock, and it's just such a great ball. It really is so smooth and controlled, and I think it's a good ball to use for pretty much any condition. But anyway, that was my uh, exploration of resin. Let me know what you thought about it. Did you like the shots with the resin better than the urethane? Did you like the urethane better? Did you like both and they were just different? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you. And I hope you guys had a great Christmas and we'll have a great New Year.